Alright guys, how are you doing and welcome back to GTA Online. Now today, we're going to be doing up this. It is the Anis Sylvestra, I believe is how you pronounce it. Now a lot of people are saying that this thing is a Mazda RX-3 and I do agree with you, but there's also a little bit of Ken Mary Skyline GTR about it, isn't there? So overall it is a Mazda RX-3. Very, very cool little Japanese import car. As I said in one of the previous videos, it would be quite cool to see more of these. And I'm glad this thing actually just came in. So, speaking of just coming in, I have just come in from work after 10 days straight. So, this is my little reward to myself, doing up this car right here now. I took it for a drive the other night, and I must say, the now? noise and the handling it's absolutely fantastic. It reminds me of a little bit more of a powerful Futo, and that is high praise because that thing is one of the most agile little cars in this game. So, anyway, do I have enough money to do everything up? I think I should. That is pretty good. But, anyway, guys, how are you, Beam? I have been, as I said, working hard. Uh, so I have been pretty busy. It's my first time that I've actually had to record in about five days. Apologies, this has taken a little bit longer to get to and that is the reason why but anyway all that aside let's see what we actually get with this thing so lightweight bumper that doesn't look too bad the removed bumper that looks pretty nice the capped one what does that do just them little holes right there mm, not really that that doesn't look too bad actually the capped indicators that looks pretty clean oh i like the look of that and the secondary colours we get as well. I haven't looked at any videos of this guy, so this is completely fresh to me. So, yeah, we're going to try and go for a more of a custom look, because the past couple of builds have been relatively stock. I quite like the look of that one right there. It just it looks different, doesn't it? It looks really, really different with the indicators, so we'll give that a little bit of a bash. Now, the rear bumpers... We can make a lightweight bumper, which kind of makes it look a little bit more matte in colour. We can move the bumper entirely, we can fill that up, which looks good. Looks very good. The primary bumper, chrome, oh, <laughs> oh, it looks good. Oh, the t oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, okay, Rocket Bunny style has been fitted right now. Uh, chrome, I'm really liking the look of that, man. I really, really do. Does it go with anything? No, that's the thing, because the rest of it kind of looks blooming... Kind of looks matty slash stuff like that. So what I think we'll do is... That's a shame, actually, because I really like the look of that. Bugger it, you know, we'll, we'll go for it. If there's a hood option, like, or like a grill option... Yes, we could be saved, there's a grill option. Hallelujah. So, let's see what we could do here. We've got the what's the luggage? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that luggage rack, and we got a cage, lightweight louvers. Oh my god, I really need to level up. I do apologize, guys. Race spec, rack and louvers, rally spec. Mm, I don't know. I do like the look of them, but it does look a bit. It looks weird, doesn't it? In the roll cage, I'm not really feeling that, so we'll keep it without them. I'll try my best over the course of the weekend to do a couple of races and stuff and just uh, level up for you guys, because I'm feeling it a little bit as well. Now, the exhaust on this isn't too bad. Oh my, okay. <laughs> just as I was ready to say, it ain't too bad, it just goes full mental mode. Uh, the race exhausts, I feel as if they'll be a little bit cliche. And everyone puts them on because I kind of like the squarish look for that. Big bore exhaust, the race exhaust. I, I kind of look, I kind of like the look of the race exhaust, man. That doesn't look too bad. It's essentially like a bigger version of the, the stock one. We'll be leaving the explosives because I do want, I don't want my little Mazda to be blown up. Now the fit, oh, we could actually change the fenders, right? This is going to be quite a decision now. Hmm, okay. Oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't know we could do this to it. This is actually quite nice. GT Fender. Oh. So we can make like a full sort of GT car out of this, like a GT racer. Mm, 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 mm. No, I think I'll be keeping the stock ones. It just looks so good the way it is right now, man. <gasps> do we have a chrome one? Yes, we do! Hallelujah! My blooming dreams have been answered right here. Oh my god, thank you very much. 
like the look of the... Oh, that looks strange. It suddenly went into Mark II Golf. Like, <laughs> it's what it looks like a Mark II Golf GTI like that. Uh, oh, God. Chrome lights and intakes. Does it went full Hellcat on his man? That looks a bit weird. I don't, oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. That looks fucking insane. Um, can we fit like turbos onto this, man? If if we can, I am going to be <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to be extremely, extremely uh, happy. Oh, wow, I really, really don't know. Can we? Just, but we just go balls to the walls with this one, man, because I really like the look of that. <laughs> if you're over the the chrome, where is it? Did I go buy it again? I think I did, didn't I? That they are. I really like the look of that. It's just. It, it kind of fits, but it also kind of doesn't, but we're going to go for it anyway. Now, this is this is where I really hope we can get stuff for this. We get little vented bits. <gasps> oh my god, they move! Okay, right. <laughs> oh my god, that is awesome, man. Rockstar, please do more stuff like this. That is insane. Now, it might not look the cleanest, but I'm going to take it. It doesn't actually look too bad anyway. It's not, like, daringly ugly or anything like that. It's not too in your face. Well, it kind of is. But you know what I mean. <laughs> and the horn. Will we go for something stupid as well? We'll take that. <laughs> kind of suits the little thing. Now, the lights is a classic. Oh, wait a minute. Did I really just say that? What? What? Wait, 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 wait. It's giving you an option for Xenon lights, but I've got the freaking intakes. Let's see what trying to do there, Rockstar. Trying to get a little bit more money out of us when there's no freaking lights. Now, Neon, no, no, no. We ain't going to do that. Now, the liveries. What are we going to get for this? The yellow stripe, which doesn't look too bad. The Sylvestra, what does this do? Is it the colour? Ooh! Ooh, that's a nice little touch right there. Now the white stripe, not too bad. Kind of like the look of that one. And it, whoa, that's nice. That is really, really nice right there. So that's that's a contender. Classic racing livery. Oh Jesus Christ! Wow, that reminds me of like the 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 the, 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 the Nissan IDX. That's what it looks like. Uh, speeders. These are all quite nice, actually. But I think the one that stood out for me there was this one. But it, oh, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't look. Oh, man, that just ruined it for me. Why did it have to freaking go over the bloody intakes? That's a bit of a bastard right there. Can the intakes be pa right? The intakes can be painted. Right. This is a turmoil right now because I like the look of this. Freaking hell, man, this is a tough decision. It's a really, really tough decision. Will we go for a classic stripe? I like the look of that. It's kind of like cut out over the turbo. So it look like from the back. Yeah, we'll go for that. That doesn't look too bad. Sorry it took so long on that little bit there, guys. I just want to make this car bloody perfect. I really do. Now we get the chrome mirrors is what I'll probably want. Or we can get no mirrors at all. Which is strange. I must say, very strange. Chrome classic mirrors, lightweight mirrors. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of feeling it without the mirrors, man. Just to give it an overall proper, weird, clean look. Plus, it doesn't really clutter up the the bonnet as much without the mirrors. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. That, that looks pretty cool, I must admit. And when, when can we normally have a GTA car without mirrors? I'm sure there's obviously one right in front of my face, but I can't think of it this time. Put that in black right here. Now the respray, I kind of want to keep it black, but at the same time, we'll take a little bit of a glance down just for you guys to see what the car will look like and the colours. Now the red's a bit out there for me, I must say myself. Uh, sunset, carbonate red, we've done quite a lot of red cars recently. Maybe a blue, oh, gr oh. Sea green? I'm not gonna. That actually looks pretty damn nice on this thing, man. I'm checking my Elgato as well to see if it's coming through. Like, YouTube is nice. It's a different 
different sort of colour, but it suits the car with the stripe. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to go for it. I don't think I've ever done a car in sea green before, but this looks really bloody nice. Yeah, I mean, let us know in the comments, guys, what do you make of that decision? Some of you might like it, some of you might hate it, but my personal build, you can build your own, as you all know. Just treat people with respect when they build their own car. Oh my! <laughs> yes! Alright, I have got an idea for this. These are, oh god, pink. Jesus, or we can go for the white, which looks bloody insane. I like the look of that. What else does it do? Is it just the just the, the turbos and everything or the intakes? I mean, yeah, we'll go for that. The wee ice white ones. It looks so cool. It looks really really cool, man. I dare, I dare go to the Jeremy Clarkson bit and say it looks sweet for them. What was that? The Agilia or something like that uh, from Vauxhall. Oh, ducktail, low ducktail, low level spoiler, which kind of reminds me of the the Volker, I think it is. Is it the Volker? I can't remember the name yet. Uh, Hydale Bolt On. Ooh. Now that, that just fits. Very nice. Very nice. And then we get to the big wing territory. Oh my god. Um... <laughs> Uh, I might just walk out the room right now. What in the name of all that's holy is that? That's a dinner table on the back of this car, man. I mean, I thought Subaru and Pretza wings were big. Mother of God. Mother of God. Now, the one that I'm quite interested in is this one right here. Kind of just curves in with the car, so we'll that's go with that. Right Suspensione. How far is this going to take us down? Quite a fair wee bit right here. Transmission, we'll pump that right up to here. Turbo tuning, oh, the turbos. The turbo tuning, we're going to get even more turbo power. Turbo power, oh yes. Now the wheels, probably go for some tuners on this thing since it is a classic Japanese car and I immediately see a pair that I like. Oh yes, they go very nicely with this thing. I imagine. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take these things, man. That was good. Now, actually, will we pink, paint it chrome? Just to match. I know I spent money. I should have went to these ones first. But bugger it. We're going to go for the chrome. Go for chrome, bro. Go for chrome. Now, tyres. What does it give us then? Nah. Do we really get any good custom tyre designs in this game? Apart from ones that are on, like, the big off-roaders and stuff. That'll be probably like an improvement I want to see in GTA 6 or something like that. How about ones like the the Centenario with like the Pirelli style? That'll be really cool. So Rockstar, if you're listening to this, then wink wink, nudge nudge. How about that? Now, Tire Sport, I think we'll be leaving white. I don't think the green one would look that good. The windows to the wall. The sweat drip down my... It's YouTube, so I need to censor it, don't I? Uh, so anyway, here's here's me saying yeah, it's YouTube and I need to censor it and I swear all the way through my videos. <laughs> but I think we're going to be leaving it without any tint, because to me that kind of ruins the look a little bit. So what do you guys think of my little Anis Sylvestra? I believe that is how you pronounce it. We're going to head out right now and it is night time. I wanted to make it a night time video because one, we haven't done one in quite a while. And two, this is just a night time car to me. Problem is, I have just noticed this. <laughs> We've got no lights. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That's a problem. That is a problem. We've only got the rear lights right now. So what we shall do, just like we've done in the previous video, is open up the car, see what we can actually open in this. Uh, let's see. Open everything, please. Now, it actually opens up opposite ways of most cars in terms of the hood, which is awesome. Look at that engine, man. That's madness, man. Jesus. And the turbos as well. Boot size is relatively okay. Now, that is GTA. I think we'll actually get out for this, won't we? Go in first person view. Get rid of the menu a wee minute. Look at the size of them. <laughs> that is mental. Do they not look like chess pieces? Like the cutouts? They do look a little bit like chess pieces to me. That is bonkers. But anyway, let's close this little beast up right now. I really like this car, man. Seriously. 
I mean, as I said, I took it for a little bit of a test drive, and I thought it was great. But this, this is just taking it to a whole new level, man. I'd love to have like changed the the colour of the seat belts to like the green as well, but I don't know if there is an option for that or not. I might have missed that. So apologies if I did. Anyway, let's take it out for a nice cruise. I'm trying to think of where to go today. Places that we haven't really been to in quite a while. There's the first dominator of the video. <laughs> <laughs> One of you guys actually went back through the video and you said it was around about 24 Dominators in, I think it was the Tesla video or the the Glickenhaus video, which is freaking mental. So it might be another case of that today. Look at them turbos just working, man. That's probably one of the best like features I've seen in GTA for a while. It's the littlest things, but for a petrol head it means a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. It really does. Anyway, Mr. Mustang, get out the way, my man. Anyway, I want to talk about something right now which is very, very cool, but at the same time, it could be fake. It could not, might not be fake. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure you guys have heard right now if you've been paying attention to some news on Forza Horizon 4. There was a guy from Microsoft themselves in the Xbox division. I can't remember what his like, placement is in the actual job or the actual company. I think it's it's quite high up, but he recently changed his Twitter banner and it included, I believe it's now confirmed as a fan art banner or like a like a fan art cover of Forza Horizon 4. Now there was all different games in this banner like uh, State of Decay 2, um, Forza Motorsport 7, just etc, etc, etc. But on the very left, on the top right hand corner, was this picture. I'll show you on the the thing I would call it the top left hand right of this left hand right fucking idea. <laughs> top left hand side of the screen right now. Uh, that is essentially what the picture is. I've managed to find like a bigger version of it. And it is a fan's picture right now, but to have it coming from one of the guys from Xbox itself, it's either a massive troll to everyone that wants the game to be set in Japan or we're kind of going ever closer to be getting one of our Dream Horizon games in Japan. I mean, imagine that, like, going along, like, the Tokyo Highway and getting up. Dare I say it, if they... If, this is my theory, right, that I had the other night, right? Maybe the reason they didn't bring Fujimi back into Forza Motorsport 7 is that they're incorporating it into Horizon 4. Imagine that. Imagine that seriously. If they added like Fujimi Kaido into an open world, rather than it being like a circuit, just have a road to like veer off into other areas of the game when you come off of the mountain road. That would blow everyone's mind because imagine it in like the Xbox One X, um, like power and everything like that, or on the PC now because I know they're all coming to the PC, but. The way Horizon 3 and Forza Motorsport 7 turned out on the PC, I don't know about that. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I really, really hope that is the case. That would be like a, a Dream Horizon game if that did happen. But please do let me know, guys. I'm pretty sure it is fan art right now. But let me know what you think. Do you think the game's going to be set in Japan? I think they're going to need to do it now because the community has been clawing at their heels to do it. So... Playground, I know you watch some of my videos, I really really hope you do and you would gain a lot of respect back for the Forza series. As long as there's no bloody microtransactions and a lot of shit unlocked or shit locked or anything like that, I'll be good. I'll be very good because the way the, way the Forza Motorsport 7 one is, it's, uh, apart from the loot boxes and everything, I like the way the kid at RG on to play the career to get some more cars and everything. But they, they needed a wee bit more in terms of the cars and stuff like that to be unlocked and it's just like Horizon cars have like proper expensive, what like the most expensive cars in the game, have them as like you need to work through the game, you need to work through the career mode to get them, let's just say like a, a 250 GTO and stuff like that, that would be great. But anyway, enough of Horizon 4 and enough of Forza itself, let's get back to GTA and the little Sylvester in <laughs> Mr. Swag that Raccoon looks like he's enjoying himself. I mean, the car, it just, it's an awesome little thing, man. Where the hell is he going? Freaking hillbilly. You're all barely, man. Look at the 
look at look at the look. Look at the look at the look. <laughs> oh, I want to give a shout out to one of you guys that left a really bloody funny comment on the I think it was the Tesla video, and it was basically like a a version of look at the flick of the wrist, but involving me. It was fucking hilarious. So big shout out, team man. I would recommend you guys go back to that video just for that comment. So funny, I pinned it right at the top. So, yeah, go and check it out, man. Go and check it out. But in terms of things that I've been doing, I've not really been doing much. I have been just working away, as I says. I am going to watch the new episode of the Grand Tour after I record this video. Maybe I might record another one after this because I'm feeling pretty damn cheerful. I really am. But anyway, I think we just done like a big circle on this thing, but I don't really care. Now, a lot of you guys were letting me know that the, the Spider-Man costumes in this game, fucking Christ almighty, he just stopped out of nowhere. Is it you, mate? You, oh, don't, don't bloody, are you going to come after me? No, I thought you were. Aye. I mean, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the raccoon man. Yeah. Oh, he just dived bombed. <laughs> Why is he dive bomb on a freaking solid tarmac, you idiot man? Jesus. Jesus, 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 but anywho, I'm sure you guys are loving the noise this thing, I'll let you guys hear it. Yeah, again, it reminds me of like the photo man, it really, really does, and that looks like a player which is over there, but I'm in a close friend lobby. That's why, I, the reason why I do it, as I said before, is just to stop the lag and everything which goes on in GTA. Look at that. The beautiful state of Los Santos in the night. Very good. Now, what do you guys prefer me recording in? Like, d daytime's obviously better because, like, you see the car a bit more. But for this particular car, as I says to you, it's more of a night cruiser. More of a night beast dome. Be a beast dome? Beast dome. Uh, busy beat road barnstorm, that's what I'm trying to say. Initial D shit. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's get going. Let's see if we can start drifting in this thing. I mean, we probably could. Yeah, again, I'm not exactly the best in GTA for drifting. There is some techniques that I use. I normally use the handbrake and then pump the brake a little bit. It was not too bad around that one, I must admit. We'll go for some... Aye, let's go for some car park drifting, man. Are you going to let me in? No, I'll just have to break an entry. That went the wrong way already. Go in this way, some raccoon gymkhana. How, how would that work? Rakana? <laughs> Rakana? That sounds like a tropical orange drink. Rakana? Come and get it. I promise this isn't sponsored by Rakana. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I mean, imagine, imagine if like next week or something, the new zesty drink, Rakana. Oh yes, and the, the freaking logo is like a raccoon's face. Oh yes. But anyway, shall we do the jump? Shall we do the jump? Let's go! We'll get some cinematic view. Oh my god! Oh, don't land! We're landing in a hedge! We've killed a hedgehog! Sorry, Sonic! We're gonna have to. Oh shit! Pulling <laughs> <laughs> babbing into everything! Karma is a bitch! It really is. Anyway, let me take you up to my office, guys. I don't think I've been up here in quite a while in a video. Because I was planning to do like a. Uh, an end of 2017 like garage tour. I know a lot of you have been asking me to do the the best DLC cars of 2017. I have just not had the time. I really do apologise. I might try and get it done this weekend, uh, but no promises or anything. But I might I might let you know what I think the cars are in the next video. That is, I tell you what, that will be the plan for the next video. We shall make it a wee mini segment on that video, rather than like going for a full blown out one. That's what we can do. That's the plan. That is the plan, my friend. That is the plan. So, anywho, this is the cars right here. So, that one right there is, I, I can't remind the name of it, but it's a really, really cool off-road truck. It looks absolutely badass. Then the Pariah, as you've noticed, I've done a little bit of like more customization to it. It was black, but now it is yellow with the black stripes. 
So it's just a bit, bit more of a viper now and a bit more of a cesto, not cesto, fucking super fast, that's what I'm trying to say. Hermes right here, looking good. We get the, the Lotus Esprit, I've still not done a video on this yet guys. Uh, please do let me know if you want to see it, but I think it's just been overdone obviously on YouTube. But it's a cool car, it is a really cool car. And one of my favourites, one of my favourites is the DeLorean, I really like this thing. So we'll be taking you down, oh there's the, there's the um, freaking, the Glicken house down there man. Looking very, very good indeed. So anyway, down we go. And on to the, the, the first floor. So we got the M3 right here, the SC1. Don't worry, this will be coming soon. I have seen the comments. The Comet Safari will be coming soon. The Tesla right there. We get the the 4x4 squared. I can't remember the name of it. The E-Class All-Terrain 4x4 squared. A lot of people told me that I was one of the only YouTubers that actually called it by its proper name. And a lot of other people were calling it an SUV. It's quite clearly a station wagon, as you can see right here, or an estate, as we call it here in the UK. And we get the Bronco, which is freaking awesome. But anyway, guys, I think I'm going to round off here today for this video. Uh, the, the car that I was driving there, I've completely forgot about it. It's right up here, isn't it? My memory is like an absolute sieve. It really, really is. But anyway, yeah, the little, the little Sylvester, that's it. The little Sylvester, really, really cool little car. And I would highly recommend you guys going to actually build one yourself. If you want to copy mine, that would be amazing. But the green looks very, very cool on it. The rims look amazing. The ductile spoiler. Just an overall cool little classic Japanese car. And as I said, I would love to see more. Especially little key cars and that. Imagine that. That would be bloody awesome. But anyway, I am going to go and choose another car right now. And have some fun in it. So... Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day. Please subscribe to the channel to see more of this. And also leave a like as well. It's greatly appreciated. And apologies if you can hear people talking in the background. So, yes, I will see you in the next one, guys. From me, Mr. Swider Raccoon and the Sylvester. Bye-bye.